So the question before me has to do with uh, autism. And I'm asked by a mother, you know, my child has autism. You know, can the unseen therapist really help here? Can you really do that? Isn't that impossible to cure, alleviate, or whatever? Well, I don't think so. I've seen lots of cases with EFT, both with and without unseen therapist, where um, the behaviors change. I'm not saying the autism was cured in these cases, but the behavior was changed. The uh, fly off the handle type anger, not there. The irritation, the irritability, the um, inability to concentrate. Ah, oh, much improved, much improved. Uh, it makes relationships around the house much better. I want to give you one of our primo examples on this. This has to do with EFT tapping, but the unseen therapist could have, I think, done this job even a little more proficiently, but we weren't aware of unseen therapists at the time. I was dealing with a mother. Uh, mother's child not only had autism, but also had Down syndrome. And the boy, boy's name was Mason, eight years old, and there were three uh, behaviors that he had that were most annoying to mother, and you'll see why. Okay, One of them was when he was hungry. He would stand outside of the refrigerator, and he didn't know how to speak English words and, and, and communicate in normal vocabulary, so he would stand outside and scream at the top of his lungs at the, at the refrigerator, you know, so that... So let's say he was hungry. That's the way he said, Mommy, I'm hungry, okay? Another one was um, mother's parents, that is Mason's grandparents, lived downstairs in the basement. And from Mason's point of view, of the young boy, those grandparents belonged in the basement. That's where they belonged. And when they came upstairs into the living room, he got very upset because they weren't where they belong. Everything's got to be in this place, and they weren't there. Get very upset, scream, tantrums, all kinds of things. That, of course, gets in the way of harmony in the house, if you will. The third thing was, while he was, he had the ability to use the toilet on his own, he just didn't bother. Um, so his mother had to put him in diapers and had to deal with all of that, you know, daily. Well, okay, mother and I got together and we did this surrogately. Mason wasn't even around. We were doing it surrogately um, in Mason's behalf. And we were imagining what would it be like to be Mason and be so different from everybody else? What kind of anger would we have? What kind of frustration would we have? And then mother, of course, knows about specific events that Mason may have gone through, which were very upsetting to him, and so on. So at the time we were doing tapping, could have used unseen therapist, um, and we were aiming at all these emotional issues. Well, we had no way of testing at the moment. He wasn't there. And so I instructed, you know, mother, how to continue doing this. Uh, and she did that for the next couple of weeks. And I talked to her again on Skype. This is how we did it in the first time. And after two weeks, she tells me, of the three behaviors. Now when he wants to eat, he stands outside the refrigerator and he points, but it's in a very calm voice, dum, 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 like this. Great, big difference. Now, when the parents come from upstairs and they come into the living room, Mason doesn't even notice. Doesn't even notice. Plays with his toys, might say hello to the grandparents, hug them or something, whatever but it's not the big deal that it was. And from a potty trained point of view, um, he still wears his diapers, but he uses the toilet about 80% of the time. That's a big relief, okay? So that gives you a sense uh, of what can be done for not only autism, uh, which typically many times will need to be done surrogately simply because the autistic person doesn't always have the, um, what would you call it, the uh, uh, patience to sit, to sit through a, an EFT session, so we, we do it surrogately. But anyway, that's a, kind of an exaggerated example. Can it help with autism? Of course. Can it cure it? Well, possibly. We must also look at the idea, however, that with autism and some of these issues, it could well be that the 
person has chosen this uh, because there are lessons to learn. We don't know that for sure, so we just do what we can do and we, um, we keep at it. But is a cure for autism possible with the unseen therapist? Ah, well, that remains to be seen because we're brand new at this. But I suspect if there is one, unseen therapists will be doing it.